Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I have a little happy mail from my wonderful friend Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts and I know what it is because we talked about it but um, I just want to show it to you guys and I will be showing it again because she is not going to have this available until after Thanksgiving. So don't like run over there right now because she won't have it till after Thanksgiving but I just want to show you guys and I'll show you again to remind you and all that. So, little note. She found the graph paper um, that she likes to use to avocado dye because the other paper that she was using, um, all the graph would go away, which I have that same problem, so this is awesome. Um, and she sent it to her design team first just so we could start playing with it, but it won't be ready till after Thanksgiving, and that's what she says is after Thanksgiving. So, she has a bunch more avocado dyeing to do. <laughs> She got uh, bought out thanks to the wonderful Gail and all her awesome ladies, which a lot of them have also come over and started watching my channel and supporting me, and you guys are amazing. I mean, just amazing ladies, and not just because you buy stuff. You're all very wonderful and nice, but it's um, Janice is just going to have another busy weekend of dying, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for supporting her because she's a wonderful lady. Um, and so, I have a, man, I don't know where you find these this big. I never find them that big. <laughs> that is so cool. But anyway, there's a doily. And then this, this graph paper is really cool because it's lined on this side. So it's graph on one side, lined on that side. I have never seen that before. She mentioned that, and I just think that's so cool. So after Thanksgiving run on over there and um, check her out and I will come back on and let you know um, you know it's probably going to be that week after Thanksgiving starting like Monday or something like that so because I think she wanted to let the whole Black Friday and all that go so um, anyways it's just that is super cool Denise it's beautiful beautiful color as always she gets great saturation and I, th I was going to use some of that, and she sent me more of this stuff. I love this stuff. <laughs> I did find some the other day at the store. I didn't buy it, but like now that I know where it's at, when I need some, I can go get some. So thank you, Denise. That's so awesome. And what a fun thing to have graph on one side and line on the other. That's great. So I have some of Denise's avocado dyed paper here. Music paper, which she said I think she's going to have back in this week, the music paper. Um, so yeah, that'll be there. And then um, I was going to use some of Medieval Mirage. I'm still kind of in the Christmas area, but um, if you wanted to make it non-Christmassy, then it could definitely work. So um, Medieval Mirage, she doesn't have Christmas papers. I was going to use with her Medieval Odyssey um, a bit of my reason for the season that I showed you guys the other day. So. Um, it could be Christmassy, but it doesn't have to because these angels could definitely be used for something else. I have all these roses. Definitely could be something else. So, um, yeah, just um, a different way, different spin on it, different way to think about it. So, um, I am not even exactly sure what I'm going to do. I just knew I had to do some collaging or something today. I'm kind of stressed. Um, just everything with the copa and all that and I'm trying to learn more about it and I really think it's going to be okay like I really believe that if you um just from what I've learned I gotta take off my coat jacket hold on um if you give a disclaimer in every video oh which I need to do right now so this video is not for children it is not intended for children I use a lot of sharp instruments these um, exacto blades this is not intended for children um, this is just it is a crafting video but it's not for kids and a lot of these glues and things that I use are not safe for children so um, we're kind of hoping that if you give a disclaimer and say you know it's not for children that hopefully that will clarify some of the um, you know the problem however uh, with the FTC doing just sort of sweeps of words <laughs> like you know if you what if you have use Santa paper all that so I have 
contacted YouTube and I am asking questions about those type of things and when I find anything out I will let people know but the biggest thing I think as um, patrons or pe you know the people that watch us subscribers if you can um, you know sign the petition and just kind of support us in um, so that we can keep creating that would be great they just need to clarify some stuff I don't think it's as big of an issue as like I don't think we'll have to shut down our YouTube channels. I mean, I hope that we don't have to do that for sure. But um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it's that uh, crazy. But I mean, I don't know. I could totally be wrong. I'm just kind of playing around, and this is all stuff that like other people have done. So I'm thinking of maybe uh, hinging this onto here, so it'll do this and then this. And I got these alteration tags from Creative Cafe Girl. Um, she's here on YouTube, if you don't know, and um, she also has a YouTube channel, and I will link that, and I will link Medieval Mirage, because I'm using her Medieval Odyssey and her Medieval Missives, just a few things possibly from that. So I'll link the, both of those in my description box below. And um, yeah, so a lot of you have already said that you signed the petition, and thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully they can at least clarify. I mean, I don't know. I just think the whole thing's insanity. Like people are, are very upset and I just think it's messed up that there can't be a little bit clearer guidelines for those of us that are creating, you know. It's nuts to just say certain words. Well, what words? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like people help us out. If you want to keep making money off of us, then you might want to help us out. So, anyways, I digress. All right, so a lot of these are, as you can see, clearly not Christmassy at all, and that's awesome because I think that these papers that um, I've done with my son, I think you could definitely, um, you know, use them. However, so I kind of think I'm going to start with a little bit of a, a background type paper first, and I have more here. This is from the Medieval Missives, so are these little like pockets. And then this is the Medieval Odyssey, which you can see, and I just like the kind of black and white-ness of it. And I think it just goes good with really anything. And it was so nice of Joff because she um, allowed me to pick a few of her digis as a happy mail. I mean, how nice is that? So kind. She's the sweetest lady in the world. And so I picked a couple that I wanted to play with. And I've been dying to play with them. And I've been doing, you know, all the Christmas stuff. So I kind of needed a break. I mean, this could be Christmas, but it definitely could also not be Christmas, which is kind of nice. And then I saw Rachel at Roxy Creations. She was doing the index cards for um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah's uh, challenge. The alphabet challenge and she had the hole punched in it and put the um, like cellophane or um, not cellophane but acetate there and I just thought that looked really cool so maybe I'll do that I don't know I just kind of grabbed some stuff that I thought I might play with I need a, a relaxation moment <laughs> I mean it's just kind of silly my son just keeps telling me it's fine mom you're fine just make sure you mark it not for kids and do all that but I mean he is a teenager so like he tends to be a little more lax about things than me well and that's just sort of his personality anyway lucky, lucky him right because <laughs> he didn't get my insanity hopefully <laughs> uh, but anyway I just it stinks to be all stressed out about this it's just stupid I mean and there's a lot of people like it's bad enough for us crafters but those people that do like um you know lego building and all that but more on an adult level than a child level and like gaming videos and stuff but meant more for adults than children i just feel bad for them because i feel like how are they ever because that really is a fine line like it's bad enough being a crafter because kids could definitely um you know be interested a little bit in any of this just because you're you know making things kids like to do that but I really just think these videos are would not interest them and like I said I looked at my analytics and 
I mean, I literally have no one under, I think, 35 or something like that. So, I mean, I really truly believe that as junk journalists and stuff, we're fine. The only thing that worries me a little bit is my cat logo, which I mentioned last time. And, um, like, I do make other things, you know, like the Christmas ornaments and stuff like that, which definitely could appeal to kids. I don't know that they'd necessarily be interested in those kind of Christmas ornaments, but, you know. So I'm just hoping that it just is, they can make it a little more clear, and then, you know, if you just follow the, the guidelines, I think it'll be all right. I mean, that's kind of the way I'm seeing it happening, but they just need to clarify some stuff for people, because it's a little nutty right now. So how are all of you? I hope you're having an awesome day. I am having an awesome day. It was a little crazy at school today, but it's Friday and it is going to be a long holiday week, which will be awesome because I think we all need it at this point. Although I do have to cook, which always stresses me out. <laughs> I mean, I cook every night for my family, but, you know, that's not that big of a deal. Turkey dinner is <laughs> not my favorite thing to cook. It's not really my favorite thing to eat, either. <laughs> I mean, I like parts of it, you know, like I like the mashed potatoes and the stuffing, all the stuff that's bad for you. But um, I just think it's a lot of hullabaloo for not much, not much greatness. So... Alright, but it is a good, you know, family getting together time and all that. And that's awesome. I don't mind that at all. I just don't love the cooking aspect. Alright, I think I'm going to use, like, some of this. I feel like that should be up there. <laughs> I wonder if I turn it this way. Does it look weird? Yeah. Let's see. I could do one with an angel. Like... But it's on the bottom again. See, it seems like no matter which way I position these things, there's always, every time I try to do something, there's something that um, I wish I would have put somewhere else. But, you know, I could do, I could do this rose here. short but I can scoot it over a little because it's and I did it not straight at all so let's get this top part torn a bit so yeah and I hope all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends and whoever you like to hang out with And travel safely if you're driving distances and things. Luckily, we're not doing that this year. We have in the past, and that's always kind of treacherous. I mean, it, like, I think it's going to be good weather, in, at least in our area. Um, it's supposed to get cold, but it's already cold, so that's not really anything earth-shaking. Like the rose. Not sure what else it needs. I could do an angel on it. These are ones that I cut out. She's a little small. I like the little cherubs too. They're cute. They'd be cute. With like some fabric or something. Let me grab something. Just old table runner. I did this little um, journaling card, but it's a little thinner than I would like it to be. I'd like them to be a little, have a little heft. I mean, this thing just tears like <laughs> it's so old. <laughs> I don't even know how old it is, but I found it in an antique store. It's just falling apart basically. 
Oh, like a, a piece. Kind of like this end because it's not straight tear. All right, let's see. So yeah, it's funny when you're watching videos about all of this, um, people are either like highly stressed and then it stresses me out or they're like, oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. And that's kind of, you know, like I listened to my son talk about it the other day and he's actually read up a lot on it for being 15. You'd, you'd be amazed. But so then he makes me relax a bit. <laughs> it's like so all over the place that I don't know what's the case and then he was also saying he doesn't think internationally there's any effect because the FTC doesn't have any um, like control over people in England or <sighs> you know all that I really I have no idea about that I mean I get that that probably is the case because it's a different government but I don't know if they can because of YouTube um, you know still find those people or if they're fine I don't know but I think really all you can do is just kind of give a disclaimer saying my these videos are not for kids so you know whatever and I don't know how but you know there's people that do all the um, like little golden books like I was saying and all that that's that makes it rough Luckily, I haven't delved into that yet. And now I might not ever. Because <laughs> I don't want anything that's going to... I mean, even th one thing I may for sure do is, um, depending on if I get any inform information or not from YouTube, is change my uh, channel name just probably to my name instead of Crafty Cat. And I probably won't use my cat's image anymore. Because I know, I mean, my son, for example, when he was younger, he loved to um, watch cat videos, you know, and stuff like that. But the difference is I watched them with him, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know why this is everybody else's problem and not more of a parental issue. But, you know, that's not my place to say. So I'm wondering it might need to go this way, huh? because this is a nice edge and that is a roughly kind of an edge so we can go like that it's not a big deal so maybe something like this for that part and like Rachel and loads of people have done things like this this is no earth-shaking thing but you could attach it down completely have this flip and then this flip out or um, you could have it kind of as a floating thing that you paper clip to um, the page or whatever you like. I think the only book I have up here is my... I had my friend come over yesterday and we made Christmas ornaments, so that was fun. I'll just use this one. Um, I'll show you what I made in just a minute. I was going to do that anyway and I got sidetracked with the whole... Again, my brain's everywhere. Kind of like if you've been watching Rachel at Roxy Creations, she's kind of everywhere. That's the way I sort of feel. Because you just don't... No, <laughs> I don't know. It's like on your mind, you know. So, I'm sorry. I'll try to stop. So, you guys, because I'm sure you're like, okay, people, stop. If you watch a few different channels, it could get old real quick. So, yeah, we had a really good time yesterday making ornaments. It was good to see her, and she brought over, she got at a, like a, yard sale or whatever, estate sale, 20 some years ago, a huge, and I'm talking huge plastic bag full of Christmas cards, old Christmas cards, like from the 30s, 40s, 50s, that whole time period. And they are so awesome. She wanted to show me all of them. 
and she thought I could use them like in my digis and stuff but it's like I can't because they're still under copyright <laughs> I mean it was awesome of her to think of me for sure but I can't use them because they're still under copyright but they are so neat so she left them here so I can peruse them a little bit more and then I'll give them back to her because they're really cool so we looked at all those and chatted and it was it was fun and neither one of us are like I don't want to cut them up you know that would be a shame in my opinion and they're not mine anyway so but they're sure neat to look at I love this old Reader's Digest with those color pages. So cool. So yeah, I needed this. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. I'm sure that if you have something to work on, you can do that. It's just kind of nice to relax and try to not worry about garbage for a while. So there's that side. On this side, we could do like a journaling. Well, we're going to have to put this down first. That's the first thing we're going to have to do. These are just envelopes that I had floating around. As often happens. But this, oh, and I didn't say anything. That's just one book page folded in half. Just, you know, from these glue pages that I do. So that's all that is. I don't want to leave just a itty bitty gap in there so that, you know, opens and closes good. And now we can cover it with something. I'm thinking I found a lined, yeah, one of these. I think that would be fun. I mean, you don't have to do lines. You could do anything. Ooh, this one would be kind of cool too, though. Yeah, that might be better than lines because I'm going to have to tear that up and I don't know if I'll even get that border. But like this one would be good because it's got open space. So let's just kind of do this first. My whole downstairs table, though, is completely covered in <laughs> Christmas litter, everything. I got to go clean that off when I'm done here. I just needed to decompress or something first. This paper is beautiful, Jeff. I mean, just gorgeous. She just does such a good job. Beautiful. And you can use it really with so many things. Like, it doesn't have to just be... Uh, by itself, you know, you can just use it with lots of different stuff, which is really awesome because some things, mine included, um, sometimes you can't use them with a whole lot of anything but that style, you know. But this kind of goes with lots of different things. spoiled lately everybody's been sending me goodies and happy mail I mean you guys are amazing my goodness lovely giving people it's just amazing to me and that's the part that would stink about the Having to say it was, you know, kids could watch it, which technically they could, but losing the comments would be such a bummer. <laughs> I guess I could still talk to you guys through Etsy or something, but it just wouldn't be the same because you don't get that, like, feedback on that particular thing that you're making or, you know, just wouldn't be the same. So anyway... Work out somehow. 
what I think I want to do. I just thought after I put glue all over that, I kind of want to use maybe, I could use a piece of the music. Maybe I will put this down and then I'll just put it along the edge or somewhere. Of course I have to get it all crickety. Because I kind of want to get it close to this edge as possible. How did I do that? It's like, why is it glue straight on this side, but not that side? <laughs> There's a bone folder here. There we go. And I'll probably, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, yeah, I'll stitch around it still. Because this is wanting to open a little bit. It's just glued. I think Denise the music paper is my favorite. I don't know what it is, but I love that pink on um, that music paper. It's just super fun. I mean, it's all gorgeous, but I just really like the music paper. Super pretty. I don't need the blank spots, I don't think. I kind of just want the music. And I think I'm just going to do sort of a jaggedy of it kind of thing. I think I'll just trim it where it's hanging off because I like it down here. Or I could do it along the side. That'd be kind of cool too. Maybe that's what I'll do and put something else along the bottom. Yeah, I'll put that there. of these I printed out have like these ladies in them. Sorry, I'm just going through my stuff so you know what. Is that been long enough? Not really. I think I'll just use a section down along here. with the little less of the blue just because it kind of goes better with this. So I think I'll tear it right about there. All right, now it is getting better later. Good thing I don't have a timer going. I'm watching Rachel and um, Tina do their the 30 minute alphabet challenge and I, I love that idea I really wanted to do it but I just time and yeah so anyway um I don't know if I could do the timer part though because I think I would just get all frizzle frazzled just worrying about the time I'm big enough ding dong without that Rachel seems so calm most of the time. I mean, the last few times, and I think that's just because of the stuff that's going on. She's been a little frazzled, but mostly she's been pretty darn calm. I'm like, man, she is good at that. <laughs> she's good under pressure. Uh, not so much for me. Oops. That's not, you know, I think I 
did that upside down, didn't I? Yeah, because that was supposed to be the top. I'm sorry if you hear something. My cat's coughing. <laughs> he gets like a little wheezy coffee sometimes. I don't know if it's his smashed nose or what. Or all the hair, all the fur. My on screen, I didn't even look, oh good. So that's the back. Pretty, pretty, I love that paper. Well, I guess that could be the front too, huh? I didn't even think of it that way. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> Get your journaling spot first instead of last. <laughs> I kind of like this angel. And I just have to remember not to seal my envelope, which I tend to try to do almost every single time. Even though I like showed other people how to do this and didn't seal the envelope, but I try to take just a tiny bit to make the edge. I love these angels. I know I've said it like a thousand times every time I look at them I say it I think. But um, they are just gorgeous. Serious artists made those. It's amazing. Not sure what I want. I feel like it needs a little more right along there something somehow like maybe this writing type thing right here And these were, I don't know if, um, you know, if you're new to me or whatever, they were like little statuary uh, type things. And, you know, like a nativity that you would see in a church or, you know, in your house or whatever. Um, that's what they were originally. And I just fell in love with them when I saw them. And I understand that, you know, Christmas and that is not for everybody, so that's why I kind of wanted to show, you don't have to just have it as Christmas. And I know that there is the Holy Family, but that's really the only um, thing that I made, you know, with Jesus. So I think you probably could use it for a lot of other things and not, you know, have a problem with it. But that's all personal choice. And then I need to decide, do I want to cut the top of my envelope open or the bottom? Oh, you know what? I need to cut the top because if I add the other one over here, obviously the top needs to be cut. So let's do that before we go any further. And all you do is just take a really super thin sliver. You don't need much at all. It's just like a super duper thin. And I usually put them in my cutter first, but I just forgot. And then it'll get um, sealed back down once I add the other papers on there. Now these are probably going to be just a touch long. 
And it's so funny how that little tiny bit will change everything. Okay, can't decide if I want this under on this side. I don't think you're really going to see it that way. I think I want it over because I've got the little edge, so I might as well do it over. Okay. All right. So now I need to put the glue on the envelope so that I don't put it all over the back of that and then I'm stuck. I want to make sure that stays down everywhere else. I guess I didn't need to go all the way to the edge over here, huh? Move the whole thing. Sorry. And this, I think I can just glue it because that'll seal my envelope over on that side, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just need to take a tiny bit more off of this bottom. Like I said, it changed because I snipped the envelope. I got it on there. Okay, so now that will open up here. So let's put a little, um, I'll wait till I do the back. A little hole there, but I need to see, did I seal this shut? Okay. Huh. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness, Amy. put any glue up there to speak of. I'm going to put this in here for a minute. Figure out what I want here. Now this, I'm trying to think, if you glued this down and then that could flap open like that. Or I could just make that the tag for in there. Oh yeah, I think that's what I think I'll just do that. Just have that kind of flip. So the back of this can get glued down, so I don't really need to do anything else to that. So let's do our alteration tag and see what we can come up with. Um, I got some cool tissue. What do I do with it? From Nan. When she sent the ornaments, and I think this kind of goes well, these little swirls and things. So thank you, Nan. Ah, should have taken the washi off, duh. But I like to see, you know, that it's an alteration tag, but you know, you want to do something to it. So see, it'll still show through there, which is cool. Which I'm sure we all know. I just want to take the string out right now. It's bugging me. I don't really want to get it like too much over that hole. So 
thought it might tear, but it doesn't want to, so I'm not gonna not gonna press the issue. Thank you guys for sharing the stuff that you do for Thanksgiving ideas and just some fun other things and it's just it's cool to see what other people do. Some of the things sound delicious. I love the idea of the chicken pot pie. That sounds great. I'd love to do that. I mean, I'm a pretty traditional person. I like traditions, but um, some of the holiday food things, by the time you're my age, I don't know what it is, but I just am like, mm, yay, turkey again. <laughs> Which is silly, I know, but <laughs> it's just kind of funny how stuff that you used to be excited about is those doesn't seem too exciting anymore. I like this flower right here. entirely. Yeah, I needed a break from the red and the green of it all. <laughs> I do love it. It's super fun to make Christmas stuff, though. It probably is one of my favorite, like, uh, journal topic kind of things because, I don't know, it's just fun. Lots of fun. You can use lots of different stuff, and it just works. So that's awesome. I kind of want to put like some kind of stamp on there and I'm thinking I have these roses and things might work kind of good. I just got this as part of a set um, you know if you bought their magazine kind of thing you got this with it so it's like I can't really specifically tell you Some of you might have it, I don't know. It says it's the Crafts Beautiful. I just bought the magazine and that was with it, so. Because I liked those roses in there. Um, what did I do with my. I was thinking I should use my archival ink, but at the moment I don't know where it is, so. And I'm just going to kind of. You know, do them however. Probably not even going to see that one. Just a little right down here. And maybe up here. Okay. Should add a little something back there. I need that still. <laughs> Shoving it out of my way. What 
doing? See, I move it and then I mess myself all up. Trying to get it out of the way. And I kind of want to put something on the back of these because that's perforated right there. And even though I have the front, you know, it's not going to come off. But I just kind of want a little something, maybe in the middle, a little. So that it stays there. Where did that um, paper go? You could definitely write on this. I don't know. Oh, it's not going the right way. I don't have I still think I want that. I don't really care which way it's going. <laughs> Let's do the same. So I think I'm just going to do part of it and then I'll do part something else as well. Just obviously um, sewing tissue. Is that a little bit right there? I don't know why I put that all the way up there, but. I guess I can go ahead and cover it and then just punch that middle out again. Some things I think through, some I don't. Can you tell? <laughs> A lot of it's just trial and error, really. Let's just put the glue down and see what works. Whatever sticks, right? Ha ha. Yeah, I kind of like that just there for no real reason, just because. off that. Let's see, there's this little opening right here. I do, I, I do admit, Nan, this glitter glue stuff is awesome as far as that little tip goes. Oops. It is uh, great for a little junk like this. Oh, come on, if you can get it to come out. I need to clean my nozzle again, I guess. Oh, that was good. <laughs> well, okay, we're going to find something else to put along the bottom. <laughs> Don't do it like that. I thought it would work, but I guess that's too wet, so. Let's do this one. Yeah, I can just kind of take this. Get this one up a little bit. Oh, yeah, Ooh, we're at 50. Sorry, I was just like taking up loads of your time. 
good to fall asleep to <laughs> with all the inking and the stuff. Sometimes that's what I do, and I don't even mean to. It's not like I find them boring because it's Gail and Rachel and all them, but some nights if I'm tired, it's like I turn it on and because I only really ever watch like before I go to bed or something. I just don't have time otherwise. And um, or if sometimes if I'm crafting, I'll turn it on. But um, yeah, I don't know, sometimes I fall asleep. You know, it's just something kind of a lulling thing, listening to someone talk and the cutting and the inking and all that. You know, it's very relaxing to me. And oftentimes if that happens, I go back and I watch whatever I missed or, you know, whatever again, just so that I know how to do something that they're doing or whatever. I need to punch that hole out and all my hole punches are downstairs I think. So, oh no, there's one. That goes in there, and then I kind of still want something on here. One of these might not be bad. Let's see where the rest of those. And I really like this one right here. It's very pretty. I mean, they're all gorgeous. That one's cool too, it's just a little littler. I may trim this down, depending on what it looks like. Helps if you can cut a straight line. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is exactly what I needed to do. I just needed to get away from all of that and relax. What will be will be, I guess. I mean, I don't have control over the crazy government rules. Some of it I get, you know, we need, obviously, to protect people, but some of it is just insanity. I think I'm just going to cut the picture out. I don't, I mean, I really love the writing on there, but it's just taking up too much of my background and I really like it, so. Still like this white. Well, it's not really white, but whatever color that is. Yeah, I like that better. That can go there. So it could be Christmas, could not be Christmas. It just depends on how you want to look at it. It would be very pretty in a prayer journal or something though. And I feel like I need something right there because I got that stinky glue right there. another flower. <laughs> hmm. What could I put there? What could I put? Oh, I could put music. I could put the music. Just do a little bit of music. do that so I don't 
I'll lose a lot of my flour. My pink music. So yeah, don't forget, um, Denise will have that graph paper after Thanksgiving. Not right now. So if you go over there, you're not going to be able to get it right now. But don't be discouraged because it'll be there. She will have it. use those to make more ornaments and things. And then, you know what, I'm going to use some of this fuzzy stuff. I love this stuff. And I'll save these little bits because I can use them on my those ornaments like when I do, do the little fuzzies around the ladies or whatever. They work well for that. Just to turn. Alright. Well, now that I've sucked your life away. Oh, you know what I need to do? The clip right there. I have... I can find it. Oh, it's right in front of my nose. I know you need to clean up your disaster when <laughs> it's right in front of your nose. I don't want it super huge, and I want to try to center it. That looks right. I don't like a, I don't like giant thumb holes. I like little little flat ones kind of. Need to put a little bit of glue right here, especially because I just pulled it open. Alrighty. You could have that as the, yeah, I'll do it this way. You can get glued down there, and then there's a little spot to write, spot to look at, and a tag right there. So that's just a fun little piece of ephemera that I can use in a journal. So I hope you guys liked that. Thank you for hanging out with me. It was nice to chat and relax. Oh, I'll show you those ornaments that I made yesterday. I made this one little boy with the skis and it's in one of those little tart tins and then I made a Santa this is on um, the book page you know uh, cookie cutter ones I cut out and I just kind of collaged all over the tree and put the Santa and that's from oh my goodness dreams etc sorry and that's a Tim Holtz and then I did this one Sorry, it's hard to see the whole thing. But it's just, um, I found these one year, and I've had them for years, so I'm sorry. I, um, I think it was Michael's or somewhere. They're kind of covered with burlap in red. And then I just added the chipboard, snowflake, and a little poinsettia, and the jingle bells. So it really does jingle. And the little guy from Tim Holtz sitting on the edge of the Y. I thought that was kind of fun. And then I just added the hook up there. So yeah, those are the ones I made yesterday. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will chat at you later. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And again, these videos were not meant for children. Thank you. Bye-bye now.